Hey guys, it's Martin. Welcome to another episode of Peak Your Mind. Today we're talking about how can you tell a great story, a story that's going to move people or captivate people or entertain people and keep them engaged. And so I'm going to get into some of those tips and fundamentals for you. But before I do, I want to give a huge thank you to One Short, One Long. If you haven't heard of them, there's this awesome daily news site. They send you a couple stories, one short, which is less than five minutes, and one long, which is more than ten minutes. And they cover everything from business to tech uh, to short stories. And so after this video, you can go check them out, go support them, thank them for supporting Peak Your Mind, and get some inspiration for some stories that you want to tell. But right now we're going to get into tip number one. And tip number one is you have to hook your audience. You got to engage them. Just like any song um, has a little hook in it where you're listening to it and you're like, ooh, what is that? I want to hear more of it. Or a movie. The first few seconds, the first few minutes of a movie are there to engage you and to get you to want to listen to the rest of the story. And so you got to have a hook. You got to have something that's going to captivate your audience so that when they're listening to it, they're like, oh, this is good. Like, I want to hear more. I want to hear what happens next. And so a few ways you can start your story that provide a great hook are you can say, I will never never forget the time this happened or you will never believe what just happened or another one is true story true story is a great example because it already has that implication of you will not believe this, but it's true and it happened. So by starting with those hooks, you'll immediately have the attention of your audience and you'll have them captivated to want to listen to the rest of your story. But the next thing you gotta do to really keep them engaged is step number two, which is to get animated and enthusiastic. When you bring energy and you embody that story, you take your audience on that journey with you instead of getting to the end of your story and being like, um, well, I, guess, I don't know, I guess you had to be there. You know, you don't wanna end up in that place. And I'll never forget, true story, and last summer, my friend Chris and I went on the most epic trip to Europe. The first time there, we had all these incredible experiences, and I was so excited to be able to share them. And I was excited to be able to share with him because he even said, dude, I can't wait for the next video. Like, when we went here, like, I'm so excited to see it. And I came home from a weekend away in San Francisco, and I tried to turn on my computer, and my computer had crashed, and all the files had been deleted, and I was like, oh no, like, I was bummed, not only for myself, and I kept thinking about, dude, what about this time, and like, not having that moment, but I was also bummed for Chris, because he was so excited to see these videos, and, and to relive those memories, and so before telling him, I, uh, I like did everything I could. I went and like bought this like recovery software and all this stuff and still the files were gone. And so a couple of days ago, I ended up hanging out with Chris and our other buddy Julian and he brings it up again. He's like, dude, I'm so excited to see those videos. And I'm like, dude, I have some bad news. Um, this happened and I couldn't recover it and all those videos are gone. And I'm just as bummed as you are, dude. I know it sucks, but there's nothing that I can do about it. And he was boned, but he understood. And at that point I was like, even though all these videos are gone, we can't at least watch those and remember those little like details and stuff, at least we can relive them in our minds. And, and, and so I started to tell stories like, dude, remember that time we were in Portugal and we are on this train that crazy dude came down the hallway and like all this happened? Or that time we swam to that island? And we're telling, pretty much both of us were sharing these stories with Julian and we were reliving them as we were telling them. And afterward, Julian and I were driving home and he's like, dude, that was awesome. I really enjoyed hearing those stories from Europe because I felt like I was right there with you guys. I felt like I was like living it with you. And so when you embody that, when you bring that energy and bring that life, you get to relive those stories and you bring your audience and you bring whoever's listening on that journey with you instead of just leaving them at the beginning. And then by the end of it, you're like, oh, um, I guess you had to be there. You don't want to end up there, right? So bring that person with you by bringing the energy and the authenticity and the life to your stories. Tip number three is while you want to consider that, while you want to bring energy and enthusiasm, you also want to be authentic and you want you don't want to embellish too much to the point where it's not believable. Even if you stay true story, if you go so beyond the point where you're like, yeah, dude, and then after my files got deleted, this unicorn showed up and was like, I'm gonna take you to Pleasure Town. I don't know, something so ridiculous where people just stop believing you. Because when they stop believing you, they stop trusting you, and then they just tune you out. So make sure you're bringing uh, like congruence and authenticity to your stories when you're telling them. That's tip number three. Tip number four is to have some kind of basic structure. We all know the whole like beginning, middle, and end, but it's really easy to get lost in a story when you're telling it, uh, especially if you don't have all the details rolled out and you're, you're telling it and you're like, oh wait, but then this happened and you have to backtrack and go forward. I mean, like imagine if you're watching a movie and you had to fast forward to this part and like rewind to this part and then go forward, it's hard to follow. And when a story is hard to follow, again, people will just tune you out. So make sure you at least have the steps, okay, this happened, then this happened, then this happened, and then this happened. Having that basic structure of linearness, of taking your, your audience from beginning to end, is gonna be so much easier to follow and more engaging as you're telling your story. So it doesn't have to be complicated, but at least having that basic structure and being aware of that is gonna help you become a great storyteller. Now on to tip number five. Tip number five is to have a reason 
reason or a purpose for why you're telling the story. When you have a reason behind why you're telling it or a purpose, it could be as simple as to make somebody laugh or to share this experience of life or as deep as to inspire people or to move them to action. It could be anything. But when you're connected to that purpose and that mission, that reason why, that's what's going to make you a great storyteller. Because you're not just telling a story just to tell it. You're telling it to make that person laugh, to bring a smile to their face or to inspire them or to, uh, to show them possibilities. Whatever it is, connect to that purpose. The purpose for this example and the stories that I shared here or to give you an example of how to hook somebody, how to be animated and engaged and captivated in a way that's congruent and authentic and believable, but that's also going to be uh, entertaining and inspiring and, and that teaches something. So those are my tips on how to tell a great story. If you like this video, comment below and I'll make more videos like this on Storytelling. There's seriously so much to telling a great story and this is one of my favorite topics to talk about. So comment below, share this video if you like it. And if you're new to Peak Your Mind, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this and check out one short, one long for a little inspiration for your stories. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Peace.